So if we come along to our USD output, all you need to do is switch on Save USD, enter a file name for what you want. So click three, it's fine, save that. Yep. Set up the scale you want in Unreal. So let's go 200, 200, 200. It's nothing's happened yet. And then on the output switch, flick it over to USD. You see it's scaled right up and you can see our paths are in there. So everything just follows along nicely. Because the, the instance, because the point instance is set up already, the weights are affecting the point instance and the point instance of points come in and get put out. So here we are with a empty Unreal file. I'm going to go to my USD stage, file, open. There's the file that we just output. Open that. Let it load. Maybe we we'll want to move it up a little bit. And there you go. It's that simple. We made quite a major change. We put in a big road and two little ones. And it's just followed on through and done it for us, which is really the beauty of USD, especially procedural Bifrost USD. And again, you could just go back here, edit something. So if I take I get curve three, hide that. Oops, not hide it, unhide it. And then go to the control verts. Maybe switch this back to Bifrost there. And we'll just focus in Maya on our curve. Curve three, there we go. Let's go over to its control vertex. So this is this, this one around the lake. And if I just want to move this out to here, and perhaps I want this to carry on through the forest just a little bit more. So we'll select all of those. Let's move it out over here somewhere. So it's going all the way through the forest making a fairly different change. Do a little bit of cleanup. And by the way, if you hold down C, you should be able to drag along a curve if you've got that curve. So we're just going to add this back in, integrate it a bit nicely. The next one. Get more of a nice angle coming in. Go to the next one. Maybe get rid of this sharp bend here. Can which we can with a little bit of fiddling. Won't take too long. I'll probably speed this up when I edit it anyway. But that'll do. That'll do for now. That's showing us an example. Maybe like take this guy, move this guy back here somewhere. Take this guy here, and let's lift this out a bit. So all we're really doing is changing the shape of this one little piece of path. Just as an example, so there we go. That's, that's quite different. Let's hide the curve again and go back to shaded mode. And now you've got this change done. So if you remember what it looks like here, there we go. Looks like that. Again, come to your output switch. Well, first off, make sure save USD is on. Come to your output switch, switch it to USD. It's going to jump and scale and then reload. And there's our new path. So it's very, very quick and easy editing and very, very quick and easy feedback. I will be giving you a bonus file. Take a look for that in the folder, which will show you how to not animate, just animate along a strand, but how to animate strands. And I will include that 